Hi Blissful Plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby, and today I'm going to bring you guys Generation 2 of The Sims 4 Honey Brew Legacy. As you all can probably tell, we are obviously not in Willow Creek and that is because the Honeybrews are currently on a Winterfest holiday in Hemford on Bagley which they have been planning since the beginning of the year. They are currently staying in this really really lovely holiday kind of rental lot and they are going to be here for a couple of days or throughout Winterfest and one of the things that I'm really really excited about is that they're actually quite near Brightchester because in my head Brightchester is really really close to Hemford on Bagley because in my mind you just get the train ride to Brightchester from Hemford on Bagley. So we are going to be celebrating Winterfest with Willow and some of her friends which is going to be really really fun. It is currently 10am and as you guys can tell the Honey Brews are just having a very very relaxing cozy time inside. I actually did decorate this lot here for Winterfest. I didn't do too much but but I mainly just decorated this bit out here just to make it feel a little bit more cozy and a little bit more in season. And I also wanted to mention that if my voice doesn't sound at top notch quality at the moment, and that is because I currently have a tiny bit of a cold, my throat really, really hurts, but I just wanted to record Honey Brew so desperately. So uh, we're here anyway. So yeah, I just thought I'd mention that because someone may have been wondering why my voice doesn't sound um, that nice quality today and maybe not that <laughs> Not the best so yeah as i said currently the honey brews are just having a really nice time currently feather is doing some cross stitching right there how adorable is that she's never tried this before so it's kind of like a first time thing for her but i think that she's having a lot of fun since there is currently a very crazy blizzard going on outside the honey brews are not planning on heading down to brightchester today to see willow although they do want to go ahead and explore the city since they really just want to look around it since they've never really been to hemford on bagley or brightchester before and they do love exploring brand new things. Since there is a blizzard, the honey brews are just going to be spending some time inside today, just relaxing by the fire and just having a very cozy time. Currently, the family are just doing some cooking together now. How cute is this? Daisy was in quite a foul mood, but now she's feeling really, really happy. She's just really enjoying herself so far and everybody is just having a really fun time. The mac and cheese has now been served and everybody is just sitting down at the dining table and just enjoying some dinner. I love this vibe so much. It's so cozy and everyone's just in a really really good mood at the moment and of course they are really really excited to hopefully meet up with Willow in a couple of days and kind of spend Winterfest with her. It is very much a shame that Fisher cannot join us but of course he is all the way in Mount Kamarebi and he's currently in a in the middle of a term of university so he of course cannot join us but it's nice that we can at least see Willow this Winterfest. Birch and Daisy are currently enjoying a game of cards together which looks really really fun oh my god how adorable is that it does look like birch is <laughs> losing the game currently they're just kind of having a chat whilst playing i wonder who will win i feel like currently daisy has the upper hand of the game but you never know but now the sun is setting and the honey brews want to make sure that they get a early start tomorrow so they are all probably going to be heading into bed now so i'll be seeing you all when the honey brews wake up tomorrow Happy Winterfest Eve everybody, currently the Honey Brews are just having a really festive morning singing around the Christmas tree which is so adorable to see, look at Feather and Daisy, how adorable is this, so yeah they're all just having a really really lovely morning so far. I'm actually going to go ahead and get Feather to, can we not put any presents down? That is such a shame. Wait, isn't there an option that if you click on the tree, you'll be able to put some presents down? Now that is just really really disappointing i have to go ahead and add some in from build mode but yeah for now everybody is just doing some singing which is really cute or they were singing there we go i'm trying to get the whole family to sing 
They are so funny. Just look at them all. Oh my goodness. I am just so obsessed with these guys. They're just so adorable. For anybody wondering when we'll be seeing Willow and when we'll be spending some time with Willow, we'll be seeing her tomorrow since of course tomorrow is Winterfest. Currently, she's very, very busy with university so she cannot you know get the train all the way down today but we will be seeing her tomorrow and it's currently still blizzarding but the honey brews are hoping to hopefully maybe after christmas or sorry after winterfest day they can get the train down to bright chester because they do want to do a little bit of exploring and kind of see where willow is currently living and i actually forgot to mention that today is feathers birthday i don't know how i forgot to mention it but it is true it is feather's birthday so finley here is currently making her a birthday cake and surprise surprise this cake is not a honey cake this is going to be a low carb coconut sugar cake i think that's what it is so currently finley is cooking this for feather that he just thought that you know she may want something a little bit new something a little bit different than what they usually have so currently i'm just getting him to prepare this for her okay so here it is it is finished currently Finley is just taking it here now he's going to go ahead and add on the birthday candles and they're all gonna go ahead and kind of just sit around this lovely cake and celebrate Feather's birthday she's going to be becoming an elder you guys <laughs> oh my goodness it is gonna be so emotional happy birthday Feather oh my goodness there we go all right I did not get a screenshot then that is quite alarming I was hoping I would <laughs> manage to get a screenshot shot of feather blowing out the candles but oh well but okay she's gonna go up here and feather's an elder oh my god <laughs> i cannot believe it this is gonna be very very emotional because she is nearing the end of her life of course she's not really really close yet but this is very scary <laughs> but also really really exciting okay you guys this is elderly feather now i'm actually going to quickly hop into creative sim with you guys because for now i do want to quickly switch her hair color back to the color that she had before this really bright blonde because in my mind i feel like her hair is starting to grow grow sorry <laughs> go a little bit more gray but for now like i did with finley i'm just going to keep her hair a blonde you will not believe it finally the blizzard has gone away and it has passed so now i am going to get the honey bruise to go out on a little hike and i do spot a fox oh my goodness luckily we only have chickens in willow creek oh no it's gone now anyway <laughs> So now they're outside, they are just building snow pals, making snow angels. It is such a lovely sight to see. Just look at all of them. Although it's still heavy snowing, it isn't a blizzard anymore. So I would imagine that it is quite safe to go out. So yeah, everyone is just building snow pals, making snow angels, which is really, really nice. Feather is really, really happy that she's been able to, you know, go outside because she's really wanted to explore Henford on Bagley, which I think is really, really lovely. Finley and Daisy are currently currently having a snowball fight which is really really fun i wonder who's gonna win <laughs> i'm kind of rooting for daisy to be honest but i guess we'll just have to see so far it does seem like she is losing the game but yeah just really really cute times this outfit of daisy's is really really adorable <laughs> she's hating getting snow on it she's like seriously i don't want to get snow on my brand new cardigan dress thing I'm not sure what you'd call this yeah <laughs> Oh my goodness. But yeah, it looks really, really adorable. I do adore this outfit. This was a really, really fun time. I love that they were they managed to actually go outside and kind of explore a little bit of Henford on Bagley, even if they just, you know, went outside the house and didn't really travel very far. Now they are heading back inside though, because it is getting quite dark and I think the blizzard may pick off again. I really, really hope it doesn't, but just in case they are going to be heading back inside of the house. Happy Winterfest morning everybody. Currently the sun is rising and oh my goodness it is look it looks so so amazing. It is actually not snowing currently so everything just looks really really pretty because of course there is still snow it just isn't snowing so everything just looks really shiny and sparkly and it just looks really really nice. Feather is currently taking a morning stroll around Henford on Bagley. She loves it here. I don't 
don't think she's planning on moving here or her and Finley are planning on moving here now they are older. Although I think it would have been lovely. They just want to stay in Willow Creek since that where, that's where their kids live or some of their kids live and they kind of just want to stay there. But she definitely could picture her and Finley, you know, spending their elderly life in this place just because she just loves it so much and it is such a gorgeous place. And I feel like you guys also said that you can imagine Feather living here and I can too. She's definitely just, you know, thinking about her life and about everything, you know, she's done because now she's an elder, I think that she's kind of starting to think, am I happy with everything I've done with my life? And 100% she is. She is so proud of her kids. She's so proud of herself and Finley. And she is just thinking about how happy she is about her life, which I think is really, really lovely. Finley decided to join Feather at this little moment of kind of just relaxing and sitting on the bench and admiring the beauty of Pen on Bagley and they're just kind of hanging out together which I think is really really sweet. I love these guys so much. And look who arrived. Guys Willow is here now. Oh my goodness how exciting is this. If you have not been keeping up with the Tumblr pictures this will be the first time you're seeing Willow's makeover with her hair so let me know what you guys think but Daisy is the first one to go and run and start talking to Willow since she has missed her sister so much. That's really really sweet. So everyone is just saying hello. I think Feather is going to be the next one to give Willow a huge hug. They are just really, really excited to see her again. They did miss her ever so dearly. I love how everybody is just queuing up to just give Willow a hug. They're all just so excited to just see her and everything. And Willow is probably telling Feather about, you know, the train ride to Hemford on Bagley. She's off. She's doing something mischievous or something. As you guys can tell, typical, typical, excuse me, typical Willow <laughs> trying to be mischievous and if we actually look in the corner over here you guys will see indigo winters so if you saw the last part where we kind of went through all the screenshots that i took in season one of the honey bruise you'll know who she is this is willow's girlfriend everybody last time they were just i think dating like it wasn't really hugely official but now it is official which is really really fun so for now it's just a little bit awkward because <laughs> all the honey bruise are talking <laughs> and there's just indigo in the corner she isn't too short to say because they are like super duper close-knit and of course they are really excited to see willow and they're all just having like a huge joke as you guys can tell like i'm pretty sure they're being really really goofy because of course they haven't seen willow for an awfully long time so they're just really really desperate to kind of talk to her so for now <laughs> no one's really paying attention to indigo but i think right now we're just going to go ahead and get everybody to say hello so daisy's already actually become acquainted with indigo because because she was one who kind of answered the door to let Indigo and Willow inside the house. So she has already said hello. Although they are being pretty friendly, <laughs> I think it is still quite a bit awkward because as you guys can tell, Indigo hasn't really said much so far. <laughs> she just seems to be awkward smiling, which I honestly, I do love quite, uh, quite a lot. <laughs> I am now just getting Finley to take a photo of the three siblings. It's such a shame that Fisher isn't here, but I'm really, really happy that we still have a picture of the three of the siblings. How cute are they? I love them so much. So currently the siblings are just having a chat with Indigo. They're probably, you know, asking her, you know, what's her degree and everything, which is really, really sweet. And no, Willow, sit back down. <laughs> this was looking really, really adorable. Willow, Willow like Sims do, decide to just stand up instead of just having a nice conversation sitting down oh well <laughs> but yeah they're just kind of talking now i think that probably birch and daisy have quite a couple of questions to ask indigo as you can imagine they want to know who their sister is with obviously so these guys are just having a really fun chat together i think so far they are getting along i think they really do like indigo i feel like indigo isn't too you know sociable i think she's quite different to willow but either way they seem to be getting along with her quite a lot which is lovely to see if we head over over here currently feather and finley are actually making the i was gonna say the harvest fest dinner no the winter fest dinner together which is really really nice they are currently making a tofurkey dinner because as we do know butch is a vegetarian and they really really try to take him into consideration so today they are going to be having a vegetarian grand meal which is pretty fun so far i've actually noticed that daisy has been the one to want to talk to indigo the most out of all of the the siblings or out of all of the 
other honey brews. She has actually seemed the most interested. As we know before, when Willow came out, she didn't have the most positive reaction. And I think we all know why, but it does seem that she's kind of got a little bit more supportive now, which I really do like. So the grand meal is now finished. So currently Feather is just calling everybody to the grand meal, which is really, really exciting. Not everybody is sitting at the main table, which is really disappointing. But as we know, Sims don't really want to sit at the table honestly this is as good as, as it's gonna get i'll just take everybody being near each other and just having a fun time as i said i wish fisher was here today but it's still really nice to have so many people just hanging out together and just chatting i think currently what it is saying you know you guys should totally come down to brightchester tomorrow come check out where me and my friends are currently staying because she's currently staying in i'm pretty sure it's student housing i'm aware of so she's kind of saying to them you know you should totally come down check out where i'm living at the moment kind of look around Brightchester. me and indigo would love to give you guys like a tour around the place now willow and indigo are going to be heading home because it is pretty late but we are going to be seeing them again tomorrow down in Brightchester. and i think willow is just saying you know it's wonderful thank you so much for the winter best dinner this was super duper fun me and indigo had such a lovely lovely time it was so nice seeing you guys again so now they are just saying goodbye and feather being feather has gone ahead and just given indigo a huge hug she's like indigo you're so amazing and oh there we go feather being feather just making everybody laugh how adorable but feather seems pretty proud of herself and that is just really really sweet i love that a lot look at her clapping <laughs> i love we do love feather a lot she's definitely a really awesome person <laughs> to put it very simply i would definitely call that a very very lovely quaint successful winter fest everybody had such a lovely time feather and finley loved meeting indigo birch and daisy also did enjoy meeting indigo and it was just a very fun time and tomorrow of course we are going to be visiting bright chester which is going to be very very fun we're going to be having a little tour around it and we are going to be meeting some of willow's friends if you guys are kind of like you know wondering what willow has been doing off camera here all your questions will be answered tomorrow but for now the honey brew is kind of just going to head to bed they're kind of saving up all the clearing up for tomorrow so i'll be seeing you all when the honey brews wake up tomorrow Alrighty, everybody so it is now the next day and as you can tell we are currently in bright chester the honey brews got the morning train down to bright chester which was really really fun before we get more into this i am recording this second half of the video a couple days later and my cold <laughs> has actually gotten worse so my voice has also gotten worse as well so i really really do apologize that i probably sound even worse <laughs> and Way more different than I did in the previous clips because now I am even more sick. I should have just filmed the video all in one go, but I didn't. And <laughs> now I have to kind of pay the price for that. The honey brews are currently waiting for Willow and Indigo to arrive. They're currently just sitting on a bench outside the Peppers pub. And oh my goodness, they have arrived. Let's go ahead and just say hello to them. Let's go ahead and give out hugs, etc. Just all that cuteness. As we do know, Willow and Indigo are planning on giving them kind of like a tour around Brightchester which I think is going to be really really fun so that is what they're going to be doing today and I think Feather and Finley are kind of saying how excited they are to kind of tour the city and so far as you can definitely imagine it is very very different to what they're used to in Willow Creek. Okay so we are now beginning the little tour around Brightchester do not worry it won't be too long <laughs> I'm not just going to be making our sims walk across the whole of Brightchester but for now they're kind of all just exploring it i think they're having quite a fun time right now just kind of you know looking around it looks like feather is following indigo as i said they're just kind of like you know touring around in my head they've probably been into a couple of bakeries got into a couple of shops etc and kind of just ex been exploring the main town center of brightchester but now the honey brews have kind of spent the morning kind of going around gibbs hill i thought that we could head over to the foxbury institute where willow and some of her friends are currently living now indigo doesn't actually live in this university housing as you can tell i really really do hope that we can meet some of 
Willow's friends. I hope they're not in any classes. So we can go ahead and meet them and say hello. So let's go see where Willow has been staying. We kind of meet up with some of her closest friends. Alrighty, so we have arrived on the campus and this is currently the lot that Willow and her friends are staying on. To be completely honest, it is quite ugly because this is the EA build for it. I am planning on getting another build, like a renovation of this lot, like I did with some of the other lots in Brightchester but I have not been bothered to be completely honest for now so for now this is where Willow is staying with her friends so I'm just going to go ahead and get Feather to knock on the door and apparently nobody lives here <laughs> oh my goodness is this because it's like student housing or something that it's a bit broken so it looks like we cannot go inside <laughs> as I said you guys aren't really missing much as you can tell it's quite ugly but I was hoping that we could all go inside either way and just have like a chat you know and <laughs> just have some tea or something I want to go inside that is such a shame but you know what can you do we really cannot do anything so since we cannot meet up with Willow inside of her housing which is really a shame I also tried to get them all to like sit outside her campus to kind of hang out together because there were some really nice benches for them all just to, like you know talk and stuff but unfortunately the sims 4 being the sims 4 for nothing really was working out willow just kept leaving and honestly it was just getting really really stupid and i tried to like invite her to hang out on the lot and then it just said that she's already here that i couldn't find her and i kind of just got fed up <laughs> With all the glitches and just all the problems I was having, I just wanted my Sims to sit down and, you know, talk. But it's a Sims 4, your, your Sims don't want to do that. <laughs> so I thought and said that we could actually head back to Pepper's Pub and this time actually go ahead and grab a drink because they kind of just met up outside of Pepper's Pub. So I think it would be nice if they could actually, you know, sit down and have a chat. And yeah, I think it could be pretty fun because now it is actually the evening. So I think it's like perfect, a perfect time to go. Alrighty, so we are now at the Pepper's Pub and currently everyone is kind of just sitting down and having a chat well not everybody Finley has decided to get up and this random sim like <laughs> I'm so sorry but the sims is just being so 90 like I don't care my sims are trying to have a family conversation they don't care about this guy so whatever anywho Indigo is here by the way she's just playing some foosball because there's not room for her here I'm not sure what Finley is doing usually I cut these parts out <laughs> but at this point I just want to show you guys how annoying the sims 4 can be sometimes so we're keeping it in but everybody is kind of just talking and kind of I would imagine that Willow is probably saying about, you know, her term and how much fun it is and how much she really, you know, does love Bright Chester. But she is kind of saying that, you know, once she finishes up with university, she is definitely going to be moving back to Willow Creek because as much as she does really enjoy living in Bright Chester and going to all the pubs and everything, she really just wants to be close with her family and uh, she wants to move back into Willow Creek. But yeah, this pro still probably like, you know, talking about all how lovely Bright Chester is about how nice Hemford on Bagley is. Now they're all having a game of foosball. I kind of wish that Finley and Feather were teamed because I think that, as I said, it would definitely be a reminder of old times because if we remember the, not the first date, but the kind of first outing that Feather and Finley ever had was at the Willow Creek Park where there was actually a foosball table and they played foosball together and it was just really, really sweet. Let me know if you remember that. <laughs> I love it so much. It's just really, really sweet to see them kind of, you know, playing it again. It's so sweet. But this time, Finley is not teamed with Feather, he is teamed with Indigo. Oh my gosh, how adorable. I think that's pretty cute. It is getting pretty late, so the Honey Breeze will probably be heading back to Hemford on Bagley soon. As you guys can imagine, the train ride is going to be probably two hours, so we do want to kind of go home pretty soon. But before we do go, Willow and Daisy are kind of just having a chat together, since I think that Willow was kind of hoping they'd have, you know, a one-on-one -on -one chat, because if we remember, Daisy was calling Willow on the phone, letting her in on what was going on with Aurora. So Willow kind of just wants to know if anything has changed with that, and she's just kind of interested to hear how Daisy's feeling. I would imagine that Daisy is kind of just telling Willow about, you know, how everything went down, how she's not friends with Aurora anymore, and how she kind of managed to, you know, move on, and I think Willow's kind of saying to her, you know, I'm really proud of you for doing that. I'm sorry that you kind of had to lose your friends, though, and I think Daisy's kind of saying, you know, it's fine, like, I'm really, really happy right now, like, I feel literally on top of the world, I'm so glad I cut them off, like, they're just in my past now, and I think that Daisy's kind of just saying, you know, everyone's so accepting in Brightchester, like, I feel like you see, like, everyone just being so accepting 
accepting of each other and you know compared to you know what it's like in Willow Creek where like you'll be immediately outcasted and I think Willow's like you know what, what are you going on what are you going on about Daisy you know what are, what are you talking about and I think Daisy's just like oh you know just you know like you and Indigo are really accepted here like no one would you know question you guys whereas if it was in Willow Creek everyone would be you know pointing at you staring at you and treating you as like an outcast this has definitely taken willow by surprise she was not expecting daisy to come out with anything like this so she's kind of like oh i, I guess so like i don't really know what to say about that daisy because of course she probably doesn't know what to say so she's kind of just like you know i'm not sure i'm not sure exactly what you mean so that is probably what is kind of going through daisy's mind right now and definitely something that she has probably been thinking about a lot so far on this trip and with you know meeting indigo and everything but now a sim has decided to you know come up here so i think that this conversation is probably <laughs> over i think it's a good time to end it but it was definitely a wholesome one i'm really really glad these guys got to you know catch up i feel like everyone's kind of been fighting to talk to willow because <laughs> of course everyone wants to go you know see her and catch up with her so i'm really really happy that daisy got to catch up with her but now i think that everybody is probably going to be heading home so this will be the last time we are seeing willow <laughs> because because of course I don't think well, they are actually going to be going back to Willow Creek tomorrow morning so we're just gonna say goodbye it's so sad saying goodbye to her all the time like I just hate it I just wish Willow would just <laughs> graduate from university and come home now oh my goodness but it was a very very lovely time they loved meeting Indigo they loved you know having Winterfest and Henford on Bagley and exploring Wrightchester it was just a really really fun time and I'm really really happy that they went on this you know family vacation I thought it was really really nice Birch is the last sim to say goodbye and he is feeling very sad he doesn't want to say goodbye to Willow this is just too wholesome he's just feeling really really sad right now about it all he just wishes that Willow could just come back to Willow Creek which is just really really wholesome but yeah he's definitely the oh no he's, he's happy now which is good but it was still quite sad to see him be so sad now the honeybrews have returned back to the cottage they are probably going to be heading in to bed then tomorrow morning they're going to be packing up and moving back or oh, sorry not moving <laughs> traveling back to willow creek as i said this was a very much successful trip and everyone had such a lovely time let me know what you thought of their winterfest vacation to hemford on bagley let me know what you thought of today's part in the comment section down below so if you guys did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we'd love to have you join the Plum family and I'll be seeing you all in the next video. A quick thank you to all of the channel members. Thank you Kristen, Cottage Crossing, The Mint Plum Bob, Michelle Monroe, Kotatsu, Meadows Hearth, Deku Midoriya, Nanny Bay, Cat Lover 2728, Florida, McKenna, Robin Ivy Louise, Jana Hicks, M. Howe, Fredalia, Sky Perry, and Callisto Eris. I really do appreciate it. <laughs>